you know, that little button thing. Yeah, my God, I think I did. All right. Hey, everyone, and welcome to the fifth and final Chef AJ Live of the day. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that it's bundle week, or should I say 10 days, day five of the 10-day bundle experience, where we have gathered over 100 of your favorite plant-based chefs, bloggers, doctors, influencers, athletes, uh, vendors with coupons to create what we think is an irresistible offer of only $49 for close to $6,500 worth of content that will help you so much on your journey, whether your journey is to become more plant-based or more raw or work out or become a yoga teacher, or it's just, it's so good guys, really just click it just to see what's available. So I've been featuring pretty much on all my shows, except for the regularly scheduled programming contributors for the bundle. And today we have Tim Kaufman of Fat Man Rants. Now he's here to talk about the bundle, but I do want to put another plug in for Tim. He is also one of the interviews for the upcoming Truth About Weight Loss Summit, and you have to register for that. It is completely free for nine days. You have to watch his interview. You just have to because I, it's fantastic. But to talk about the bundle, and if you want to get the bundle from Tim, the link is in the chat in the show notes, and he's going to tell you what he has in the bundle. He's been working all day. He's a teacher. He did his robot club. He made 300 meals. He's dripping with food, but he still made time. <laughs> Good to be here. Welcome, Tim. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef AJ, for having me. And I know, like, I know I say this every time I come on, but I sincerely appreciate it. I know I'm not alone in all the work. You are definitely the hardest working <laughs> person in the plant-based community. <laughs> in show I'm business, now. yeah. Well, you know what? Because life is short and I want, I, this is important to me for people to be healthy, for the planet to be healthy and for the animals to not be harmed. And if anything I can do to, to facilitate that cause in any of those directions. And plus I get to meet the coolest people. Yes. And, and you know, the doctors, um, they all have work to do. They all have their practices. And if it wasn't for mouthpieces like you, their message wouldn't get out. So um, you're such an important part of this community. And I, I really do appreciate it. Well, thank I'm not you. Just I, I appreciate that. You know, it's incredible. Like I love shining the light on other people so much, really more than even on myself. I had my day in the sun of an under tonight show, for God's sakes, you can't get <laughs> better than that. But like to find hidden gems, well, not so hidden, but new to me, like Dr. John Scharfenberg, 11 days ago, I had this physician nearly 100 on my show. He's got more views on my channel in 11 years than any other person, 100, wow. 121,000. And it's like, whoa, the guy's almost 100 and people are wanting to see his wisdom. It's like, it's just that, that's what makes me happy is when people watch my stuff. Sure. So, so yeah, and you're, you're, you know, you got a phenomenal story and hopefully people know it. you used to weigh over 400 pounds. I mean, that's incredible. Like that you have lost the weight and kept it off. So I'm curious if your bundle offering has anything to do with weight loss at all uh, well of course it does yeah so um oh my goodness I forgot for a minute what I put in the so I did I put a cookbook in the bundle I I put together an interactive cookbook um which I think is really cool because a lot of times we put recipes out there and it's nice that we're using lentils and all this stuff um, but like for me I didn't know what a lentil was like I had no clue I didn't know what kale was um, I thought it was a garnish like on a plate. So what I did is I took some of the basic ingredients and then I made an interactive cookbook that goes to links uh, so you can learn like lentils 101, how to cook them, what the different types are. Um, so that's in there. And then I also have a course, um, a 14 day course, like um, again, it's basic, like why plants, why are they so important and how to transition to a uh, whole food plant-based lifestyle. Nice. Yeah. Fantastic. I know you've been so busy, but have you had a chance to look at anybody else's stuff in the sun? I have. And it's it's a little overwhelming, to be honest with you. And that's kind of why I came up with what I wanted to do today. Um, and I don't want to keep people too long, but I probably should have just, sh you know what? Let me do this really quickly. I don't know if this is going to work. Um, just so people know who I am, just in case they don't know. No, I lost you. I have way too many monitors. You're Tim Kaufman. And hold on a second here. What? I lost your Zoom. Can I share? I, I enabled it. So what you have to do is you have to have it up on All your... Right. Yeah, you that got should it. should be good. So I'm just putting this... I just want to pull a couple slides off here if I can. Can you see that? 
Yeah. Unlocked. So this is what I looked like about 10 years ago. This is me at over 400 pounds. Wow. Um, and more than the weight, I was really sick. My blood pressure was 255 over 115. Cholesterol was over 300 on Lipitor. Um, and I was on over 20 prescriptions. I had um, any kind of chronic illness you could think of. I had, along with that, I have um, genetic disease called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. All these things really jacked me up and pretty much were having me in a wheelchair. I had just got... Um, paperwork for a mobility scooter. Um, and then I feel like you kind of fast forward and just by adopting a whole food plant-based diet, my entire life changed. And I wish I could tell people like, this is not about just the weight. This is about the lifestyle that this kind of food brings. Um, and my favorite part of my journey is about two years after I adopted this lifestyle, um, Heather jumped on board and she's lost 90 pounds, mostly by eating potatoes. Um, and her life has completely transformed as well. So that's why this stuff is like super, super important to me. And that's why I do what I do. So what I want to do, if it's okay, um, I want to show you, uh, first of all, Kathy Davis was kind enough uh, to give me permission to use a screenshot. Can you see my screen right now, Chef AJ? Yeah, you're showing like little like little icons. Yeah. So basically when you get the bundle, and if you if you at least like Chef AJ said, go look at the bundle, there is something for everyone in there and there's multiple things for everyone. Um, it is packed with information. And when you first go to the bundle and and purchase it, this is the screen that you'll get to download these. And I've been getting a few questions on um, what to do with all this, uh, all these files when you get them. So I wanted to show you a couple of tricks. First of all, um, when I download them, they will all end up in one folder. And this looks crazy to me. Um, and I can't figure all this out. So once you put the PDFs, I named this folder um, Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle. And I just plopped all the PDFs in there. But this is really hard to read. So the first thing I'm going to do is if you go to your Adobe Reader and open this up, um, I'm a tech teacher, by the way, so this is probably, this is what I do all day. But if you go to edit, and I'm going to go kind of fast because I know everyone can go back and watch the replay and pause. If you go to preferences, and that's going to pull up a screen eventually. Oh my goodness, there's so much lag here. No, it's not responding. Oh my goodness, it'll happen. Okay, so if you go here, you see this icon or this little tick box here that says enable PDF thumbnails in Windows. For some reason, your default Explorer doesn't do that. Then just make sure you scroll down to the bottom and hit okay. And what that's gonna do, it might wanna update. I already up, no, it's mine's gonna update too, but it's gonna update a little piece of code that will now give you all the thumbnail previews of the PDF. And that is super useful. And I don't know if it's Zoom or what, but my computer is crazy laggy right now. But so I'm gonna minimize that if it'll let me. I'm gonna hit okay. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> so for some reason it doesn't like what I'm doing. Let me see if I can do it this way. I'm sorry. That's okay. I have no idea why this is locked up. It shouldn't be. Oh, there we go. It's still um, uploading, which is really weird because I did this before, so I wouldn't have to wait for it again. It must delete it and start over. But this is a way you can get all the PDF thumbnails, which will be super helpful because you can actually read the cover of them instead of just the icon. And Tim, I want to say something. If people have trouble, because our audience is older too, we have a help desk with uh, two wonderful uh, operators standing by pretty much 24 hours a day at uwlbundle at gmail.com. And we will help you. You know, that's what we've been doing day or night is, is doing customer service. This is, I can't believe this is happening. So I'm going to, maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. I don't know. But if it didn't, oh my goodness, I can't get out of here. <laughs> this is wild. For some reason, my computer did not like this, and 
I don't know why it's doing this. Well, let me at least leave here. Okay, so let's just pretend that that worked and it should have worked. What I do now, oh, it did work. So what I do now is, now see the difference, how nice this is? These should be populating in a minute. Um, and here's the other thing. I have made another, I called this folder, the Ultimate Weight Loss Bundle Updated. And here, what I did, and you can choose your own categories. I did books, challenges, courses, discounts, fitness, juices and smoothies, memberships, programs, and recipes. So what I do, um, I have multiple screens, but if you don't, you can just pop one there, pop the other one here. And then, so what I'll do is like, okay, so here's a course, a video course. I can just slide this over and I can drop it in my courses. And as I do that, I might not get them all perfect because some of them are kind of hard to figure out until you actually go in there. But here's another course. I can drag that over to courses. Um, there's a, a lot of recipes. So I'll drag them right into my recipe folder. Here's a coupon. I can put that into the, I think I called that discounts. Um, and I'll just do a couple more. I don't want to sit here and do this whole thing, but here's a meal plan. And so, and then there's a bunch of challenges. So basically what I do is start sorting them all into, here's a course. I put them into there. Let me just get here's a recipe. So, and then what I do is inside each one of these folders, like let's say I go into the challenges, I have a folder called done. So what I can do is if I go to my programs, of course, I'm picking all the ones I didn't put anything into. Here's courses. So I have these courses. What I can do is after I finish them, now I can just scoot them into this folder called done. And then I can have a really good way to keep track because I'm going to be honest with you. There's so much stuff in here. Um, it will take you quite a long time to go through it. And so you don't lose anything or forget about something. Like I see like five things that I really, really want to do. And I can tell you I'm super busy. I'm going to end up forgetting um, in a few weeks about something I wanted to do. So if I set all the files up to where once I use them, I put them in the done, I still get to keep them. But it's a good way of really fast keeping track of what I've done. Does that make sense? Yep. I don't even organize mine. I just put it on like one little folder, you know? I know, but I always lose stuff. And I always like, I have to be super organized, especially at work, um, especially with 120 students. But I, I did not get to the end of my presentation, which I, this is really what I want to talk about. I only take a couple minutes on this. Um, I find that a lot of people that I work with, and I myself have struggled with this, um, we are drowning in information. This bundle is hands down the best tool I've ever seen. It, it, like, it's literally the only thing you would ever need in your entire lifetime to be like rock solid plant-based. Um, it's way more than I had when I started. But that said, all these tools that are so neatly packaged for us, um, all these books to read, all these videos, these films, these interviews, these things are all great. But what we have to be careful is that we don't just get so like just caught up in all this information that we don't take action. And I think action, I don't think, I know the only way to change is by taking action. So I am encouraging everyone to get this bundle, but I'm double encouraging you to take action in the stuff that's in there. This is stuff that a lot of people will never have the opportunity to see. And you need to actually do something with it. You actually need to make the recipes and not collect them. Um, so this is, this is all about how you can execute and take action. Because um, without action, without execution, without actually doing the things that are in these courses and challenges, you're not going to get anywhere. So it's a great opportunity to jump into this. It's a wealth of knowledge, but you got to take action. Super important. And I hope that helps. Um, I would definitely encourage you to, at the very least, go check out the bundle. And it's unbelievable, um, the stuff that's in there. It's crazy amount of stuff. And that's all I got, really. That's all you got. What what else do you like in the bundle that you've seen? Um, I'm super interested, actually, in some of the doctors that I followed for a long time. I guess I didn't realize they had, like, I mean, I just, I see... Um, Dr. McDougal, I know about the Mary's Mini, um, Dr. Furman, but then when I look that they have 
courses. In fact, I just burned up my printer on Dr. Furman's program. That I, <laughs> I think it was like 40 some pages. Um, it's it's that's kind of fascinating to me that they have something in writing and Mary's mini um, comes with courses and stuff. That, and I can't wait to dig into that. Um, and then some of the recipes, too, are, are super cool, too. Um, I haven't had a whole bunch of time. There's just so many recipes in there. Um, but I'm really interested in the courses and some of the books are are super interesting looking to me as well. Yeah. Interested in the yoga teacher training? <laughs> um, not, well, not especially. I should be because I know it would help me. Um, what, what was the other one? Oh, the raw food stuff. I've never really been like, but I see some of Melissa's pictures in there. I know. Dang. Isn't she something? Dang. I think I might look into that raw food thing. Um, Because, boy, her food looks amazing. She, yeah, just mouth water. And it's low fat, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it looks so alive and so colorful. And um, I real, I want to dig into some of that stuff, too. She's going to make everybody raw with all those beautiful looks and pictures. Her, that's how I found out about these things in the first place was she, we were in a bundle together and she had this burger book that sold for like $88 on Amazon. And I'm like, sure. oh, you, mean you can get this bundle and get this book. And yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, I didn't. I never even thought you could make a raw. I, when I think of raw food, I think of like somebody chomping on a dirty carrot, you know, um, but her food is amazing. And the burgers look amazing, too. For Absolutely. sure. I wish she would just come over and cook for me. <laughs> well, not really cook. Well, right? not cook. Yeah. Prepare. What do you call? Prepare. <laughs> Uncook for me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You guys yeah, have raw food is so it's I mean, the enzymes, everything's intact and um, it's it's so healthy. Yeah. You guys have any questions for Tim? I love Tim's story, says Colleen. I've heard it many times and never get tired of it. Um, and that says everything new in the bundle, the repeats. No, um, no, we don't allow repeats, at least in our bundle. Now, that's not to say, Annette, that of the 122 items that someone in the bundle had that in somebody else's bundle. We don't have time to cross check all these people, but pretty sure not. So, yeah, it's we that's one thing about our bundle. Like it's it's all new stuff. So that's pretty cool, if you ask me. And that's why you got to get it when it's there, because it's never going to be able to again. Um, are you able to access those? files in the folders after a year, Tim uh, Sue asks. If she downloads it, sure. Sure. And I think that and that's where this whole thing came from, this idea. Um, yeah. And I, how long do they have access to actually download them? Well, you have a whole year. Now, um, if right. you can't download in a year, I don't think you should buy the bundle. Well, really it, but here's the thing. A lot of people, and I know I've had this happen myself, um, they'll purchase it and then they don't download it. And even though they have access, I have one lady right now I'm trying to figure out uh, from another bundle. We got to try to get her to download again. But the you should get the bundle. You should download it immediately. Once it's on your hard drive in the folders like I showed you, you have them forever. Um, you know, And if you ever would lose them, you'd have access for a year. But if they're on your hard drive, then you wouldn't have a problem at all. Yeah, absolutely. And and I think you have a few chances to download it. It's like we don't give you unlimited because then you could just share it with like everybody, you know, you know. In how long? Uh, when is the last day of the bone? I should probably know. 11.59 p.m. on Sunday, February 12th. And that would be Pacific time. Sunday. OK. Yep. Any other questions in there? Let me see. Tell us what you did today. What is robot uh, club? <laughs> I'd love so to have never heard of that. Yeah, so um, I'm an engineering and technology teacher, so I actually teach college engineering to high school kids so they can get credit for college. And then we have an after school club um, where usually we're competing in robotics competitions um, and bridge competitions and things like that. So it's a club that I co-advise after school. I race from there, go to our plant-based restaurant. And man, we cooked greens and beans tonight, like just probably 20 gallons of greens and beans. So we cut all the collards up by hand, like everything is scratch, dry beans, and um, it's a ton of work. It's a ton of work. And then I flew in here, threw something together, sat down, because uh, I didn't want to miss Chef Adrian. Well, you talk about me. How do you do it all? I mean, you got a real job. I know, but I feel like sitting here with lights on and stuff is harder because my day goes fast because <laughs> oh, I'm just oh, cooking at a restaurant. That's really hard. It is. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. 
in my life. And I've done a lot of hard jobs. Hands, we did not know what we were getting into. We started a community education place. COVID hit. So we started feeding people meals and it just blew up to tens of thousands of meals. So, so does that mean it's doing well? People are coming? Oh, it's doing very well. It's doing too well. Like we don't, we don't like maybe, it. <laughs> maybe, maybe like some big conglomerate will buy it then. Maybe when we started shipping um, dry soups too, to try to, yeah. Cause everyone's complaining. Cause we, I mean, a lot of people know us locally, but way more people know us not locally. And so everyone wants us to ship food. So we do a lot of dry soup mixes like in mason jars. So we That's started so cool. uh, packing them up. We talked to a couple of co-packers and we put a post out and I don't know how many hundred uh, four packs of soups we ship, but it's a ton. It's a ton. That's amazing. So Stephanie says, is the restaurant open to the public? If so, where it's located and what's it called? Yeah, it's co- so it's Flourish Cafe. And well, I think on Facebook, it's Flourish on Broadway. And that's in Lancaster, New York. It's about 20 miles east of Buffalo. And it is open to the public. Although um, we've definitely pivoted from COVID to where it's more meal prep. So people come in, they get five meals for the week. Um, and out the door they go. So we do have a little eat-in uh, people do eat in, but for the most part, it's meal prep. That's amazing. Who named it? Um, Heather named it actually. Yeah. Uh, wow. Whose idea was it? Well, I had a, a pretty big burger company, um, cause we couldn't find plant-based burgers that were whole food. Why do I not know any of this? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think you don't promote yourself enough. We could be promoting. <laughs> I, I'm not a very good salesman. I'm not a very good promoter, but I can work hard. So long story short, this was supposed to be only 15 minutes so you could get some rest. But No, no, but this um, is so interesting. Tell me more. Tell me more. I'm on, so, I'm on you know, website now. So I'm fat man and f- my burgers actually. So like when... So I used to work with my doctor and anyone that was going to get um, bariatric surgery, he'd send to me. <laughs> it was so awkward. Like, what do you do? You know, this guy, random guy calls you, hey, um, doctor such and such told me to call you. I'm not allowed to get the surgery until I listen to you for 30 days. And I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with a perfect stranger? So I'm like, well, let's have him over for burgers because that's my jam, burgers and fries. And so we made plant-based burgers, baked fries, shake and bake fries, we call them. And the guy was hooked. So in 30 days, by the time they go back to the doctor, and my doctor knows this, they don't qualify for the surgery anymore. So I kind of started becoming known for a fat man's burgers. And we started, you know, just talking to a couple producers about making burgers. We didn't want any oil in them. We didn't want any salt in them. And we wanted to hide vegetables in them. So I bought some equipment, um, actually a lot of equipment, too much equipment. We started a facility and we can make 400 burgers every 11 minutes. Wow. And it w- that was a lot of work too. And it took a lot of moving parts. Um, they were like kale, beet. And then we started trying to get into school. So my goal was to get on school lunches. And it's so... There's so much red tape and we almost got into a couple really big schools. We got into some private schools, um, but the idea was to sell these burgers bulk for a buck, a buck a piece. And the profit margin was super slim, but our volume, we could have made millions of burgers a year. Um, But then I hate to keep blaming COVID, but we had some workers, COVID happened. And if we can't get workers to show up, the whole system breaks down. Um, So, so we had, Fat Man Foods, LLC, which was a burger company. And then we wanted a place to house our burgers plus do community education. So we opened this cafe under Heather's name and she decided to call it Flourish. And it was supposed to be an outlet for Fat Man Burgers and community education. And then it turned into, well, that's a really long story. That's when it turned into plant-based meal prep. That's, I had no idea. That's, and, and can people order from anywhere? Oh, uh, the burgers we're not doing anymore. It's it's too much. Too much. What were the burgers based on? Were they like bean burgers or oat burgers? Well, they were all di- yeah. So so the binder was oats, but they were basically just just how I make them because we do a lot of burger. We still do burgers on the menu weekly. 
um, but they're all hand patty. We don't use uh, mixers and and patty machines anymore. But um, so basically, my burgers. I have a really easy base recipe where I go half grains, whatever grains or beans uh, you can mix, whether it's quinoa or whatever, and then half veggies, like um, you know, kind of coarsely chopped veggies. And then we just add ground oats and a bunch of seasoning. And we have a Santa Fe, um, the Santa Fe burger. We have the garden lentil burger. Um, we have the garden veggie. I don't know. And the uh, curry, chickpea curry burger. Um, that's really good too. And that's kind of how we got our soups. Our dry soups kind of come from that same line. Oh, uh, you're muted about that. I don't know how that happened. Here's a question about the bundle from Sue. Can you download them on an iPad? My laptop is a work one. Someone was asking about that and I don't know the answer to that. Charles, do you know if people can download the bundle if they have an iPad or a phone? I'll get that answer from my husband. In the meantime, I'll read a comment from Stephanie. Is the rush? Uh, no, no uh, not from Stephanie. It's a comment from somebody, yeah, Stephanie says, I think Tim should come back on the show and make his burger and shake and bake fries for us. <laughs> can you tell the people the answer to whether or not they can download the bundle on an iPad or an iPhone? Uh, I don't know how to do it. It's, it really needs to be saved on a um, computer. It needs to be saved on a computer? Or on something like Dropbox. Or on Dropbox? Yeah, it's just under one. But I was page. able to do it on my phone even before I had it on my computer. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure if you have a save there. You oh, can view it, I can, can view it, but I can't save it. So, But if, you could save it on Google Drive. Yeah. Yes, yes you can. can. Yes, you can. Um, Deborah, who's watching live, said that she was able to download it to her iPad. So fantastic. Good to know. We don't have an iPad, so we can't like verify that. But if people are doing it, fantastic. Wow. That's so cool, Tim. You have your, as they say, you have your finger in a lot of pies. I know. Yeah, I'm trying to change that. Are your kids grown? They are. So my son is going to be 30. My youngest daughter is 26. Wow. Do we started super young because I'm not even 50 yet. I'm going to be 50 in the summer. So, oh, wow. Did, did they follow in the family footsteps? Basically, um, you know, when they're home, they didn't have any money. So they ate what we ate. So my son is like vegan, but he does eat junk food, as does my daughter. So well, that's OK. No, but I meant like, do they work in the restaurant? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Actually, my son is also a teacher, which is kind of wild. And my daughter is an occupational therapist. Oh, neat. Do your students just like love you? I don't know. Maybe. I work them hard. But yeah, I think so. Um, a lot of them actually come to the cafe a lot. And I at my job, I have a super cool, unique opportunity because I speak to every health class. We, I work in a huge district. Um, so every kid that graduates from North here, they watch Forks Over Knives. Um, they take three days to watch Forks Over Knives. Then I come in. Uh, usually they do the odd for me and I get up on stage and I do a presentation to each class for all the health. And then I also usually come back and do one on addiction, recovery and social media stuff. And then I get to do like a commencement speech to, for other schools. So I do uh, get a lot of opportunities um, to share this with the kids. I've already cooked for them before, like an after school stuff. So um, they're super cool with it. Now, the kids that I had like 10 years ago uh, when I was a 400 pound teacher, I think I had a way bigger impact. In fact, uh, just a couple of days ago, a student reached out to me from back then and said that he needs help. And I think that's like the coolest thing ever that I get to go back and and help these kids out so well it seems to me like you should be getting some kind of an award or something <laughs> I don't I don't need an award <laughs> <laughs> why not why not actually I, I just got I just got one two weeks ago they gave me flowers and stuff uh for teacher appreciation so it's it's good. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy helping people. I enjoy giving back. And I know like if someone like Brian Wendell um, didn't get his message out through Forks Over Knives that my wife would be a widow right now. So um, one person, you know, one person, if I can help one person, that's all that matters. 
Wow. Well, you have helped a lot of people. Let me tell me, you're just a pleasure to talk to and your story never gets boring. I'll tell you. Yeah. Do you think the fact that you shared it so publicly helps you stay the course or do you think it puts more pressure on you to, to not relapse? I don't know. That's a good question. I, I think about that a lot actually. And I think it goes both ways. I tell people uh, when I teach or in courses the giving back, I think, is a, it's a huge part of recovery. And I know it's a huge part of this because it does hold you accountable. Like you got to, you, you know, you can't just talk to talk. You got to walk the walk if you're helping other people. So, yeah, it definitely helps. I think everyone has something to offer to people to help and we should do it. Yep. So um, video of a thousand nights, your, your, your name is too long on uh, YouTube. What type of file this is? Uh, do you know what type of file it is? And then they'll know the answer as to you mean, uh, the bundle. What type of file? They're all, uh, they're they're all PDFs. They're Everything all PDFs. Is, is a PDF. Well, you must not have bought the bundle because you didn't know the answer. No, just kidding. A, a Beth says she would love to hear more about the addiction recovery. Well, then, Beth, have we got good news for you because starting on... Saturday, February 18th, free for nine days is the Real Truth About Weight Loss Summit. And Tim is one of the presenters. I believe you're up on the first first four days or first four or five days, and he tells his whole story. So come back, stay tuned. It's phenomenal. All right. Well, I'll let you go clean off the, all the food off of you that you <laughs> Yeah, I have tomato sauce. <laughs> I'm a mess. That's okay. Um, we we did uh, lazy lasagna, which is another one. A lot of these recipes actually came right out of my book. We just made them real big. Uh, lazy lasagna is that's that's one of the crowd favorites too, and it's super easy to make, but and it's super fast. So it's just basically pasta, tomato sauce. We do a bunch of veggies in it: green peppers, onions, mushrooms, and then we just crumple some tofu in there, and it's like lazy lasagna because I'm too lazy to layer it. That sounds great. I love it. I do like lazy enchiladas all the time because I'm too lazy to. Yeah. So we make those. That's another really good one. This um, we do sweet potato, black bean enchilada, and we do all our sauces are house made. So they're all from scratch. And then we use the corn shell and we make like layers. We put a corn shell down, then the sweet potato, black bean, then another corn shell, sweet potato, black bean. And then we make, we have a house made enchilada sauce that we smother them and put some green onion on them. And that's another favorite too. I'm curious to any of you guys with like tremendous success stories that weigh, you know, over three, four, 500 pounds. Do you guys like ever like compare notes? Like, you know, we have Chuck Carroll, Jonathan Fa, uh, Josh Lajani. Do any of you guys ever, you know? So, yeah. So Josh, actually, I thought like I was on this island, like all by myself. I didn't know what plant-based was. I didn't know what a vegan meant. I mean, I grew up as a hunter, farmer. Uh, I just knew that I ate this stuff that was in forks over knives. And, and then um, I was listening to Rich Roll's podcast one time and Josh's story came on. And I'm like, I found him on Facebook, thought there's no way this guy's going to answer me. He's probably not even real. And I messaged him and no joke, within 10 minutes, we had talked for about two hours and he was out with his wife on a date. And the whole time he talked to me, he had my address. He was sending me socks and shoes, his, his shoes and his feet are like ginormous. They wouldn't, wouldn't have fit anyways. Uh, but we just became really good friends. Um, and I, and it was the first time I didn't feel like it was an island. And then I don't know if you're familiar with the missing chins that kind of formed the missing chins. And that's when we were on good morning America together um, but no, I don't know. I mean, I know of Chuck Carroll, but, um, there's a, a lot of the chins, the missing chins kind of hang out together. And there's, some... oh, wait, is that the name of a group or the, or the, are there people? Yeah, that was the group that kind of got all that publicity and we were in people magazine and on good morning, we were on the today show, uh, with Megan Kelly. Um, yeah, we got, we got, it was cool, man. They would like, they sent us plane tickets and we just jetted down to New York. It was great. I did not know that. That's, can you find that on YouTube or anything? That yeah, there? just, yeah. Well, you could type Josh's name, my name, good morning, America. And they did a lot of segments on the missing chins. You're uh, so but, humble. You're a TV star. You never told anybody. Well, I'm not really a TV star. <laughs> 
You're funny. I like you. You're just great. I just wish we could hang out. Why is everybody that's so awesome live so far from me? I well, and I haven't been speaking them. I think I, I did the NHA conference last year. I spoke there, but I haven't really been speaking that much either. The last big thing we did was in California. Um, I forgot the name of it, but Dr. Greger was there. Cal Calabasas or something. I wonder what it was. It was um by Malibu Beach, I know that because we rented a convertible and we drove down the... Oh, was it a plant-based conference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It there. was a doctor... Oh, no. He's a really cool guy. Dr. Scott... Name that Dr. Scott Stoll? No. Or... Shoot. Well, I'll have to let you... It was a great conference, though. There was probably close to a thousand people there. I can't uh, imagine what plant-based conference was in Malibu. When was it? The whole, the whole, something whole, the whole conference. The, oh, that's uh, Dr. David Lowe. That, that that's was him. Oh, my gosh. Him and his wife had us over. They are the coolest people in the world. So cool. you're sure that wasn't in Ventura, California? I don't know. Okay. All right. Whatever. No, it was like we went to his house. Yeah. He lived on like a avocado range. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I got in trouble at TSA because I took an entire backpack of avocados home. So you can't have avocado <laughs> on the airplane? You can, but the way it looked like in my bag, because they were trying to send us home with them. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to take them on the plane. So we emptied out my whole bag and filled it up. And when it went through the scanner, all you saw was these like like balls everywhere. And they're like, what is this? So they said I should have said something, but they let me bring them home. Nice. That's weird. Well, anyway, Tim, this was more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Where did that <laughs> yeah. come from? I don't even know why monkeys would be that fun in a barrel, but you are a lot of fun and you work so hard and we appreciate everything you do. And that said, she just purchased the bundle. Hopefully you did it from Tim's link that we've been posting. Thank you. And enjoy it. And good health, as my grandmother would say. Yes. And I'm sorry about the 15 minutes turned into. That's okay. I could keep you an hour. That's why I'm so glad we started. Early. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you All go. All right, Chef AJ. Thank you again so much for everything sure. you do. It's um, so great talking to you. Thanks so much, Tim. I'm sure we'll connect again soon, I hope. Okay, bye-bye. All right, take care. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Come back tomorrow for five more great shows starting at 9 a.m. with Stephanie Spencer when we talk about type 2 diabetes. Take care.